We've uh, just been hearing forecasters are warning that Hurricane Dorian, one of the most powerful Atlantic storms ever recorded, will continue to batter the Bahamas for hours to come. Five people are so far confirmed dead. The country's prime minister has called it a historic tragedy. He said the devastation on the Abaco Islands, which bore the brunt of the storm, was unprecedented. Richard Galpin has this report. Never before have the people of the Bahamas faced anything like Hurricane Dorian. Clinging to the side of her damaged apartment and holding on to her baby, Gertha Joseph cries for help amid winds which have been gusting up to 200 miles an hour. The damage done to these, the worst hit islands, Abaco and Grand Bahama, is unprecedented. Homes ripped open and then flooded by huge storm surges. The water rising more than five meters here around this government minister's house. According to an initial assessment, at least five people have been killed. We are in the midst of a historic tragedy in parts of our northern Bahamas. Our mission and focus now is search, rescue, and recovery. I ask for your prayers for those in affected areas and for our first responders. Overnight, the United States Coast Guard got involved in that search and rescue operation, bringing some of the injured here to the capital Nassau from Abaco Island. Much more help will be needed in the coming days. Although Hurricane Dorian is still sitting over Abaco and Grand Bahama, it has now been downgraded from the highest category, five, to a category three hurricane. Oh my God. But that can still bring sustained winds of up to 130 miles an hour. And as people on these islands start assessing the damage to their homes, they'll be hoping aid agencies will be able to get on the ground as quickly as possible. Richard Galpin. Okay, let's take you inside the